paint of this fresco is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he's walking through the skies towards the volcano. A face has been painted on the volcano. The spirit of the mountain. My heart did not betray me. Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition? To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. He is a Danegad, becoming a Nadaig Menaemon. Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Danegada metamorph differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolmenawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the Guardians. But how could a Guardian of the Plains resemble a Guardian of the Mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some, it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enon Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Given how well hidden this seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. This door appears to be in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seeds. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I've run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here, there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Danae Gada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. On this one, we see a sacred site with raised stones, and behind the face of the volcano. We also see the path that leads there, like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk, and the Donegada that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enon Milfrichtime. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village.
With all that we've learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there's still enough of him left to answer us. What do you hope to ask of him? We hope that he will agree to take us into the sanctuary of Dorhad Genadu. What do you hope to ask of him? Why would the Renaik say? It matter not. My head spins. I will wait for you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you shortly. That woman left in a bit of a hurry, don't you think? This door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. This was predictable given her behavior. Now, let's look for another exit. These traps weren't here when we went through with Sarah earlier. Let's hurry and find this passage to the northern mountain before she decides to come and fight us directly.
Once again, dicing! This is the place which was depicted on the mural in the Cave of Knowledge. In fact, Vinbar visibly went through this...
Finally, we've made it to high ground. Now, let's find this trail to the sanctuary. It can't be far from here. Bloodied feathers. I wouldn't like to meet the bird they belong to. Looks like Vinbar must have begun his transformation. He will soon become a guardian of the mountains. Giant feathers. We're on the right trail. Over there, more feathers. It's not possible just now. More of these giant feathers. We're on the right trail. Found the entrance to the sanctuary. Vinbar must be here. I hope he'll agree to help us enter the heart of the mountain. All that remains is to find a way to get in. This must be the entrance to Vinbar's sanctuary. But it's obstructed. He knows how to protect his home. A stone altar. It resembles the one that protects the passage to Mev's sanctuary. This must be where I need to place the seed. And here is another altar. Are two seeds necessary to open the passage? How can we learn which plant seed is required? You don't just reveal the secret to your hideout, unless it were to the person you loved. You're right. We need to find this Sarah. The seed that I have is not enough. I need to find Sarah. She might be able to help. Let's return to the village.
Sarah doesn't seem to have returned to her village. Someone here might know where to find her. We might as well try and swim the Great Sea. They won't tell us anything. This woman knows the mountains like the lining of her pocket. If she wants to disappear, there will be no finding her. And might I remind you that my first duty is to protect your cousin. Yes, that's true. We must find Constantine. The High King can wait. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It wasn't a landslide that did this, but combat. A deadly one. I sure hope our little governor has escaped the carnage. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. A crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. Constantine and Katasach must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. More tracks, footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames.
I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again, or something else. as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? These are coin guard. But I couldn't tell you if they served the Bridge Alliance or Teleme. More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? Only a handful made it up to here. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine. Oh, oh, and let's go! <laughs> recognize these men still more unknown soldiers could they have been responsible for the attack this one is carrying a letter let's see and these rocks were broken as if they had taken cannon fire what could have happened here according to this note this troop came from an outpost at the bridge alliance close by a patrol no doubt could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Very well, let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You are thinking of Katasach? <laughs> Frankly, I doubt that the healer could have transformed himself into an avenging monster. I admit that the attack of these animals is suspicious, but that he had any part of it. I know. I can't convince myself, either. But which other Denegad could have attacked? But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. 
We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglendai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, I know. But their men were there, on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantine Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rattle? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. 
Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I am convinced that you are hiding something from me, Captain. I will return. And my answers will not change. Anything else? I know... I understand what you're feeling. The pain of seeing your men fall one after the other. The feeling of being abandoned by your leaders. The anger. But if you know anything, speak. My cousin is not one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Excellency. I haven't stepped a foot outside camp. I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> one of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much... What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds.
Were you able to concoct the potion against Burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days, and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming. In our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the Coin Guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye.
Excellency. I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. You dare come here and accuse us of taking him? Let me throw him out this Renaigse and his ilk therein. May they receive this punishment for their arrogance. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katisach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorscht, Tire, 
He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaixe were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or a musket shot. The major wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the degree that the skin was torn. The ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Katasach bore the brunt of this attack or incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that could have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we're on the tracks of a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All oh, the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. 
This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tiernahach Kedachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. 